Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a hot point inverter motor 10 kg washing machine. It's an NSWM 1043C W UK N model. Relatively modern, I would say, but I don't know what year it is. It can't be, it can't be that old. I've checked the lint filter already and it's spotlessly clean. It's got a bit of dirtiness up here, but generally it's, it's quite clean. You can see there's a bit of blue liquid soap in there. Inside I've got some rags in it already but it sounds nice and smooth, so I don't really know if there's anything wrong with it. I've got water connected to it, I've got the waste into the drain, and I've got it turned on at the plug. So if I press that button, there we go, it's coming on. So if I press this button here, it should turn on just like that. And let's go for a 30 minute wash and see if it does anything. I don't know what extra touch is, rapid option, steam hygiene. I don't know if you need, oh, okay. Extra touch, I can press that, it goes to 15 minutes, even better. 30, 15, I don't know what steam hygiene, maybe that comes on a different one. Let's press go, it's beeping at me, it's locked. It sounds like it's taking on water. I have some dirty workshop rags. It's definitely taking on water. I have some dirty workshop rags in it. And we'll see if it does anything now. It could be completely knackered. Taking on more water, I would love to see the drum turning. That would be a good sign. But it was left outside somebody's house and I knocked on the door to check and they said, take it away. I didn't ask him any more questions about it. I have a feeling it's not working, but I just don't know. They said they got in a new one. Doesn't mean this one's broken. It's taken on a lot of water. I hope, I hope it works, <laughs> but I can always put on a rinse and spin, spin and drain, one of those cycles. Don't see the motor turning. Could be an inverter problem. Could be a motor problem. The clock's going down, but it is not turning. Not good. Yeah, I have a feeling there's a motor issue, so I can have a look at it and see what to do. But for now, you let me know in the comments below with the motor. It should really be turning at this point. You let me know in the comments below what you think I should do. If it doesn't turn, we can't even smash it. If it's an inverter motor, we can't hotwire it. So I'm in a bit of limbo here, thinking about what to do. Yeah, it should be turning. It should also have a sensor that knows it isn't turning, and so the clock really shouldn't go down. It should just abort straight away. But it doesn't seem to be that clever. I wonder. Maybe I should take the top off and have a look in. I know it's a lot like an Indesit because it has the little um, connection port on the back at the bottom. 13 minutes. Yep, I think we're done. Let Oh! Wait a minute. It waited two minutes on a 15 minute cycle and now it's turning again. This is quite bizarre. It seems to be turning. I'm glad I waited. I'm glad I had enough nonsense to talk because I was going to abort that pretty quickly and go straight to a rinse and spin. Well, well, well. This is bizarre. This machine was left outside to be taken. So I really don't know what's going on here. As a machine goes, I've gone through the programs on it already before I made this video and it has quite a few programs. Anti-stain 40, full load 45 minutes, 30 minutes, white, duvet, baby, 20 degrees, rinse and spin, spin and drain, anti-allergy, wool, delicate, synthetics, cotton and eco 4060. Oh, and up on the top it has mixed. And I was busy looking for a 90 degree wash and the only one you can do that on is white but the rest of them you can do a range between 0 and about 40. Cotton maybe goes up to 60. I haven't played with the spin speed but the fact that it's a 10 kg machine with a duvet setting and really quite a big drum makes it quite a useful machine if it would work and it does seem to be working. So perhaps I should just leave it. It's a bit weird, it's just left out. People are funny in what they do. They want a new appliance and that's what they get. It's still taking on water with only 12 minutes to go. It needs to do some agitation, I would say. 
the rags I have in it are pretty filthy. I had a look in the lint filter and that'll be in a different video, but it was spotlessly clean. Nothing came out. No bits, no spider, none of that stuff. No gritty sand, no dirt, no rust, no money, unfortunately. So it's really just the staining up at the top on the soap drawer door. 11 minutes, eh? I'll probably talk my way through this machine. This weekend I had a lot of luck with uh, washing machines. Last weekend my friends gave me a Bosch Vario Perfect that I have made a video of in the past on how to clean the lint filter and that video has done very well over the years. This machine is now getting on for eight years old I would say. It's rusty up at, uh, at this point here on the machine. Underneath the soap drawer it has a lot of rust so it's not a nice machine. It ate a set of carbon brushes. Uh, my friend replaced the carbon brushes on it and ate the second set. Uh, he said that wasn't probably the issue but something else had happened. Could have a board short or something from carbon dust. He said it really went through. He bought the cheapest ones on eBay which is what I would recommend and it chewed them up so maybe the commutator bars were a bit rough and ready or something like that. I don't remember what temperature it was aiming for but it's still pretty cold. It does seem to be working though. So that that was last week's last Sunday's Bosch machine that I haven't done anything with other than take it out of the car. I found this one today. I found a tumble dryer today with the plug on it and I found another I think hot point washing machine, not as nice as this, yesterday or on Friday, can't remember, a few days ago perhaps, and it has the plug cut off it, found it yesterday evening actually, that's, the, that's, that's it now, and it's taken out of the car as well, but they're all, they've all been sat out in the rain, this one was soaking wet when I got it, and I just dried the outside about an hour ago and brought it in here. So it seems to be working fine. This is, it does my head in when this happens because it highlights, that's the drain out and the water's coming out pretty clean. So the pump's working, the inlet's working, the motor seems to be working. Nine minutes. Like I don't know what you're gonna wash in 15 minutes. It's a bit of a nonsense really. The water's coming out pretty dirty, but it smells like soap. So there could be a lot of residue inside it still. It's doing a spin. What it needs is a boil wash, really, to test it out. It's going okay, isn't it? It hasn't used much water for this wash. Maybe it's an intelligent machine? So I'm guessing it's going to take on a few rinse cycles. Two or three in this length of time. Let's do a little spin. Let's see if we can zoom out a bit. Maybe that's better. I don't know if you could see the time before. Down to nine minutes. So now I've gone from zero washing machines in the shed or garden to four. Well, three machines, three washing machines and one tumble dryer. I don't know why the plug would be cut off. It kind of suggests it's broken, but I haven't touched it at all, so I don't know if... Uh, it's doing another drain out. I haven't touched it at all, so I don't know any... If, I haven't even checked inside. I just put it straight into the car. Inside in the house, I have the Samsung and the Bosch WFP3300 as my daily machines, and they've been on for about a year now doing nothing other than working. I posted a couple of videos. I think the inlet hot wasn't open on one of the machines so it was giving an error and when I checked the filter it had some lint in it. Apart from that they're working, they do their job. Samsung I'm quite pleased with given that I didn't pay for it and I just had to put an hour into repairing the door. The other machines in the, f in the back cellar I have the Big Mila Professional. I don't know what to do with that. I like it, it works. It's a bit clunky, a bit old. I have the hot point, the really old hot point uh, top loader with the mangle. I want to play with that, but I haven't done it yet. There's an Indesit Moon that I plugged in, was going to make a video of, I was going to do a few washes in it, and it just doesn't work. I don't know why. Maybe a door interlock. Don't know. I'm going to take it out of the cellar and scrap it, I think. What else is there? 
There's a Bosch WFK. There's a Bosch WFF in the front cellar. There's a big Maytag, well not a massive, but a relatively big Maytag condenser. I've got my Samsung inverter dryer. I think it's an inverter, is it? Heat pump. Oh, we're spinning. It's still on nine minutes. It's been on nine minutes for about three or four minutes now. Just watching the clock on the camera as well. So I've got the heat pump dryer that I'm using pretty much every day. I've got the gas tumble dryer in the back cellar. I've got a spare gas tumble dryer in the front cellar. The White Knight gas dryer. And maybe that's it. There's a few too many washing machines really. Something ticking as it spins there. It could be something on the back, I don't know. So it's spinning, it's draining out again. So it says 15 minutes, but clearly I'm 11 minutes into this video and that's not, an, you know, if it's got nine minutes to go, it'll bring us up to 20 minutes. Maybe it'll drop a few minutes, I don't know. But if you set it for 15 minutes and you were hoping to leave the house, I don't know if you'd get there. So that's it for laundry in terms of what's going on. The video I'd like to make video, the machine I'd like to make videos of is the vintage Hotpoint. I think the Hotpoint Empress, the Deluxe Empress with the heater unit. I believe it's all working. I should probably bring it out here, but I thought it would be better to do it bes beside the big stone sink in the cellar where I can drain out into. It's a bit more useful than out here in the shed. It does have a bit of a tinny sound. Maybe I need to have a look inside it. I'm keen to take the top off this. I don't think this is a very old machine. And a 10 kilo machine is quite a big one. Quite useful to have, really. And it should clean up nicely. Eight minutes. Yeah. It's done seven minutes in 12 so far. <laughs> That's not quite right. Eight minutes in 12. Oh, it's gone back up to eight. It's changed its mind. It was seven for a second there and it went back up to eight. It's a hilarious machine. The other thing I've got to make a video of is a bicycle I bought recently, a recumbent bike, a linear recumbent from the 90s. An all aluminium construction thing where you sit at the back and your feet are out in front and it's based around a big single beam of aluminium or aluminum as it says on the side. Made in Iowa in the 90s, I believe. 20 inch front wheel and a 700 back wheel that's a 26 or 27 inch back wheel and it's quite a quite a neat thing but I got it without a seat and I've been tinkering with that and it's nearly done I'm gonna have to make a proper seat for it and then give it a give it a test ride the street scrapping videos are still getting uploaded day by day week by week I've got a few more to upload. They take forever to process. Ah, I see something peculiar. I don't know if this will show on the camera right now. But just looking at the door here, there's the flat piece on top. Which should be up here, but it's at a bit of an angle. Which doesn't make sense. Normally the, the flat cut piece is centered at the top. So maybe it's been kicked around. Sometimes that happens. I've seen it before where it's been kicked, but it doesn't seem to have any damage on it. I'll have to have a look at that. The machine has drips under it, but I have a feeling that's from me checking the filter in here and any rainwater. I don't think it's leaking. We're down to seven minutes again in 14 minutes. So yeah, eight minutes in 14. It's not great. It's not quite right. I'm having a look at it here. I don't think there's anything wrong with this machine so far. Although, well, it's on a rinse, it won't get hot. It's a bit peculiar, this. It's just got workshop rags in it, so the stuff's coming out a bit dirty, and I didn't put in any soap. Six minutes. Other thing, apart from that bicycle, is that I've gotten a load of solar inverters. Probably too many to be reasonable. I've got about 20 of them, and I've repaired some. I've repaired the ABB or I find the ABB Aurora, uh, what are they called, Power One, that type of inverter. 
I find them quite easy to repair because it tends to be that the relays fail and it's a matter of soldering them out and soldering in good ones. Likewise Solace, Jinlong Solace, they're pretty easy to repair. I've got a few... Are they Sunny Boys? No, not Sunny Boys. I've got a couple of Sunny Boys. I've got, a, I've got one tested and I think it works and I've got another that I haven't tested yet. Uh, Solar River, I've got about three of them. One, two are definitely working. One was working a long time ago. I think it had a fuse problem. It needed a new fuse. Then I got another one recently that just worked. And a third that I haven't tested yet, which maybe does, maybe doesn't work. I got a couple of weird ones. JLT or something. JF, JFY. I think JFY, two JFY inverters. One works, seems to work. So I now need to attach them to solar panels because if they're working, I need to give them a proper test over a month or something. And then I might sell them or I might just keep them. I really don't need that many. But I've been getting broken solar panels for as good as free recently from... There's a lot of water in it now. You can probably see it there coming up the door. I've been getting broken solar panels for small money and they're unused new solar panels so they fall off the forklift or something or the pallet gets cracked or make up some other word for it. Um, it's, it's, it seems to be turning but not hitting the laundry. It's not really turning it. It's only, see, it's not really catching it and lifting it. A bit peculiar. But the broken solar panels anyway, they're pretty cheap so if you stick them with an inverter they don't generate their full capacity but they're as good as free, you know, I'm paying maybe 20 quid for a salvaged inverter to try and fix it and 10 quid for a panel, so you can get a little system with 3 or 4 panels going for 60 quid you've got to get some cables on it and stuff, but generate a bit of power, you know and keep things that were destined for the scrapyard working, keep them working, you know it looks like this might be the final rinse if it only has 4 minutes to go does a very strange action. It's not turning, it's not lifting and turning the laundry. I don't know if you can see that. There. The drum is turning vigorously, but the laundry is very slowly rotating. It could be because it's not got much in it. Maybe it's got too much. It's just kind of easing it along. I haven't checked, but maybe a paddle's missing. That could be the issue. Because sometimes if a paddle falls off, you can get new paddles, but when you can't slide them in and fix them in place because you need to get inside the drum to screw it in from the outside. And if you screw it in from the outside, well, you'd have to split the drum, and to split the drum, well, you can't on some machines nowadays. We're down to three minutes, so I presume this will finish up quite quickly. And when it's done, I'll have a look inside and see see if it is that paddle issue because yeah it doesn't seem to be paddling correctly there's the pump we should go for a spin then after this it's draining out just fine this is quite a bizarre quite a bizarre find if it turns out to be so Two minutes, the water's nearly out. It's draining away. The other thing that I've got going on is since I did all of that street scrapping in June, and we're getting into the end of July now, I've just got a load of stuff, and I have to work through that stuff, and I've been making videos of it. But like, what do you do with 10 old iPhones that you can get? Like, I've managed to get into one or two of them, but only because people haven't locked them or they've done a factory reset before they've thrown them in the bin. We found that really good iPad. I've given that to a friend to see if he can get it going. Likewise, the MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, one of those. I would really like them to work because I think I would especially like the iPad. And if he can get a charge into it and see if it, uh, see if it comes good, that would be excellent. No, I can, I'm looking in there now and I can see the paddles. It looks like it's got the paddles, so I'm not really sure why it wasn't lifting it. It's ticking on the spin there. I can hear it ticking, so 
I'll have to have a look into that. I might do that in a subsequent video. This video is as much a testing hotpoint video as it is an update of what I'm doing video. That ticking would annoy me. I have a feeling it's just spring on the side needs a bit of cushioning or has moved aside or something like that. Ticking against the side of the machine internally. One minute to go. It really didn't do much of a spin. Bizarre. It really didn't do much of a spin at all. Is it going to go for it now? Maybe. Are you going to spin, machine? So I'm up to 20, plus 20 minutes on this for a 15 minute wash. I guess that's about... It should be better, it should be lower, but... That should be 15 minutes, you know? One minute to go. Doesn't I wouldn't call that a spin. It doesn't it's still on one minute and it's been there for a while, so I guess, you know, that's how it is. Last week, one day, I can't remember what I was doing. I think I went for a walk with my daughter in the buggy to get her to go to sleep and uh in the closest municipal bin to our house, which is a good walk away, she hadn't gone to sleep yet and I just had a peep into the bin, but I came out with two fan heaters, one oil filled radiator one Henry, and a pair of crutches. And I brought the Henry home and I've made a video of that, which I think I might still have to edit. It had a brutal sounding motor and no suckage at all. No suction, no suckage. And, uh, well, I got it going, stripped the motor right down to its components and the whole inside of the motor was gummed up with well, hair and stuff, I believe it had been run without a filter, which is, you know, kind of funny. But they really wrecked the motor. The motor works just fine, but it's not pulling correctly at all. I don't know if using it would get it going, or if just keeping it for spares is the thing to do. But at the moment, I've got a few Henrys and not enough motors. Uh, two or three of them now. If I had motors, I'd be able to make good Henrys out of them. But equally, it doesn't matter. I'll just keep the spare ones in the shed or in the cellar just waiting and as parts are required I can use them for parts and if a good motor comes along I can stick it in we've been on a minute for quite some time it doesn't really seem to want to spin what's really going on so we're at we started at 30 minutes as the uh, fast wash and then I chose the rapid option of 15 minutes and so far it's taken 23 minutes thereabouts to get this far and as they said in Seinfeld the uh, whoa we're spinning as they said in Seinfeld that minute when you're waiting for your washing machine to end that's a hot minute <laughs> we're just sitting here waiting and uh, I'm trying to make up some news for you Yeah, the real news in my world is that there is too much stuff and I'm trying to get rid of it and palm it off on friends and neighbours who are willing to take it away. Now we're in a spin. This sounds more promising. It has various ticks when it's spinning. Quite peculiar. Ah, it's working up to it now. This won't be far off a 30 minute wash, one way or the other. It has one big dust sheet or old curtain or something in there and then a couple of old t-shirt rags. So it could be an unbalanced load and maybe it's 
not doing great with that. But it's spinning and it's pumping and it's draining. It's doing okay. I'm quite surprised that it took so long to get going. It was about two minutes in before it even started turning. What do I know about washing machines? Still on a minute. It's a hot minute. Now, will this be the end? Perhaps. Yeah, a bit ticking, uh, ticking on the small, uh, the slow speeds. There's a tiny bit of mold in the bottom of the drawer rubber, but nothing, nothing much at all. Nothing to get upset about. Right, it's probably finished. Is it going to do another turn to distribute that load, or to freshen it up, or is it going to beep at me? Come on, washing machine, hurry up! <laughs> another drain. Is it going to spin again? It's uh, clearly pumping, but there's nothing coming out of the hose at the end. There we go, end. And it ends and beeps at the same time. And we're in. Let me take a look at the paddles. One, two, three, all present. It's a titanium drum, if that means anything. I'm pretty sure it's not made out of titanium. Yeah, the door seal. door seal in here is a little bit grim yeah it's a bit grim but even if that was the if that was the only issue if that was the only issue um, you could quite easily replace it I can check out a part for that because I've got the code now NSWM 1043C WUKN nice machine seems to work let's turn it off Questions or comments, leave them below. Any suggestions for videos or that. And remember, check out the playlists or subscribe to the playlists because I put videos into the playlists and I don't release them for a while. People ask, why have people commented on this video two months ago when it's only been released today? Sometimes a video stays in a playlist for months, unlisted, but you can watch it now. Check out the playlist, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you later.